Hey everybody. It's gonna hopefully be a little short video while I'm waiting for the uh, garage to heat up. Got a fire going. Shouldn't be too bad here in a little while. So I'll make a short video on I'm thinking about getting rid of the carburetor and going to fuel injection. I'll give you a couple of reasons and a couple of reasons what, what kit I'm gonna go with. So I haven't really done a whole lot on the Falcon in videos. I think I got one like drag strip video and then kind of a still frame video on me switching over to the turbo. So what I have is a, a fuel injection intake that I welded a four barrel uh, flange on. Then my carburetor sits right on there. So this intake, I, I got all the fuel injector bungs welded up. I got it massively ported. I got a lot of time into it. You can see the, the plenum. You can see all the work done in there. So if I was to go to fuel injection, I would need to weld up those fuel injector bungs. I mean, yeah, weld them fuel injector bungs with new bungs, redrill it, make a new fuel rail. I'd have to buy an elbow that bolts onto this intake. And then I have to buy a throttle body. Uh, so it's a lot of dinking around that I don't really feel like doing right now. And why I say that is I'm thinking about going with the Terminator X Stealth. Bolts in place of a Holly 4 barrel. Looks like a Holly 4 barrel. So if you got to really look to even tell that it's a fuel injection. So that's the route I'm taking. Otherwise, <clears throat> I have this, this is the intake that already has the fuel injectors in it. And then this would bolt up like this and go over uh, the, the uh, valve cover, like on an 86 SVO or Thunderbird Turbo Coupe. But in order to put this one in the car, I would need to make an adapter or weld it to go that way. I have uh, a throttle body I could use, I think maybe I'd have hours into reporting this thing. These are all on weird angles, so I really don't have a good fuel rail for it. So I almost need to weld them up and make them all straight so it'd be easier to work on. And another reason I'm thinking about going to fuel injection, I had this car going in 2019 with the turbo on it. I had a lot of, I was trying to use the internal wastegate on the turbo. It really wasn't working out good. I could not control boost, so it made tuning the car very difficult because I always had to worry about getting too much boost. I mean, I think I've had this thing up well over 25 pounds of boost and momentarily, I mean, for like a split second before I realized it. But in the winter of 2019-2020, I, uh, I built an external wastegate on it, for it I mean, and I have not run it in 2020. And I really need to get this thing going in 2021. So the easiest thing to be do is that Terminator Stealth, Terminator X Stealth fuel injection kit. And by doing that also, I can, it's easier, I can data log on it. I can control my fuel pump. I can control my water methanol injection. I can add E85 if I want to. Um, there's some other stuff I can do. And I'm not that sure. I got like four inputs and four outputs. And I've been watching a lot of videos. So there's my existing timing control, which I can't data log. Back to the interior. If I go to the, my, Oh, I can also control boost control with it. Um, I think I can, there's a lot of stuff on the boost control part of it you can do. I haven't watched a lot of videos on it yet because it all seems a little overwhelming for me. I'm not a computer savvy person. So 
I think I could get this is my existing boost controller and my wideband air fuel ratio meter and this thing will control boost by AFR you know if you get too lean it'll cut boost it, it does a lot of things I'm hoping I can do that with the Terminator X stealth but I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'd like to get rid of that I I think I can get rid of my water temp gauge, my oil pressure gauge, my fuel pressure gauge, my water meth controller. There's my boost retard uh, knob. And that, because that Terminator Stealth X comes with a three and a half inch touch screen on it, you can mount up on your dash and you can have it display any, any number of things you're already doing, like fuel pressure, water temp oil pressure, AFR, I think you can even have your RPM uh, tachometer on there. So I think it would simplify things since I got so much stuff, none of it talks to each other. I, it's hard to monitor it all. I, when I'm trying to tune it, I gotta go down the road and try to look at my, all my gauges and you know, it, it's difficult. Here's my existing carburetor. It's a CNS carburetor, 390. It's called an aerosol billet carburetor. Uh, hold on a second and I'll, hold on. So here, here's the aerosol billet carburetor again. Here's a picture of the Venturis and the boosters. They're not really boosters, they're just little stems that come out and fuel gets atomized off of those. I think if I spend enough time and effort I found a guy that makes uh, sells a video on how to tune them. I'm not sh still sure about the the streetability of this thing. I, I just that's why I really didn't mess with it last year. I just kind of frustrated with the whole thing between the boost and trying to tune this carburetor. I uh, I don't know about it. <laughs> I think I could get it. Actually, I think if I was just go pure drag racing, I'm pretty sure I could get it to work pretty good. But it's the drivability part that I'm, I'm struggling with. So one more reason to go to fuel injection. And one reason I want to go to the fuel injection with the uh, Holley Terminator X Stealth is uh, it has a, you know, self-tuning capabilities. For me to get going, I think that would be a plus. That way I can get it going and then I can you know, once I get it going, if I feel up to it, which I, I'm hoping to, I hook the laptop up on it or uh, a uh, tablet and do some adjusting. Well, I'd have to do it because I have to do timing on there too. So I'll be, because I want to do, that's one reason I want to do it, this too, is I can c control timing and everything with it and I don't have to, uh, mess around with that uh, distributor. I mean, I can pull, t I, you can infinite amount of t possibilities of timing it on the computer. I can pull timing, add timing, do whatever I want. So that's my plan. I'm, well, it's not really a plan. I'm trying to convince myself to do it because it's a lot of money. And it put a major crunch into my budget on my projects. I mean, Hopefully nothing goes wrong with the Mustang this year because there wouldn't be a lot of money left in my budget to do anything with it. Um, I don't really think it'll affect my comment too much for budget wise. So I'm still mostly just doing body work and that pretty much can just nickel and dime me at the local stores. So it wouldn't be too bad, you know. But I would like to get the comment into some uh, um, sealer this, uh, summer sometime i don't know about the fenders or anything or the hood or the doors or the trunk but at least the basic body i would like to get done well <clears throat> as all the other videos say leave your comments in the comment section and tell me what you think i should do hey and if you're the first time watching the video subscribe because there's going to be a lot more on the falcon this summer I really want to put some effort into it. I might not do as much with the Mustang this year and 
concentrate more on the Falcon this year. So till the next video, see ya.